Hello everyone, welcome to some basic tech and today we will discuss about how you can do format your disk or you create any partition using fdisk command. So I will go through this process today and uh, I will show you how you can create, how you can just uh, change the FS file system type and how you can remove the file system type, how you can delete the partition and all that. So let's get started. So uh, first of all, I just taken remote of my CentOS opening system here in my CMD. So now uh, let me show you one more thing, OS release. So this is the CentOS 7 and uh, I'm going to perform all these things over here. And uh, okay, so first of all, uh, let me show you how many disks are already available in my opening system. So see, the SDA1 is the primary disk and the HDB is extended disk that I just added here. And one of disk is HDB for the 1 GB and the another one is SDC is 12 GB. Okay, so uh, I'm going to perform the all things in 1 GB disk. So for doing this, first you need to you know identify the what kind of naming conventions are available here. So you don't need to touch your SDA because this is the primary one and if you do anything, you will lose your operating system, your data as well. So just do check SDB, SDC, the disk will be added if you add any new disk in your operating system. New disk in the sense any if you attach any specific new disk from the outside okay so see this is the hdb so i'm going to put the command is f disk disk slash dev slash sdb okay now we are inside the f disk command and we need to first verify if there are any partitions are already available so no we don't have any partitions this is the listing format if there are any partition you can list it here right by the use of P. If you press M, so you will see more options and you will get more things to know how you can perform anything, right? <clears throat> now uh, we need to go for partition creation. So I will press P for partition creation, sorry, uh, N for new partitions, right? So primary and extended. So I'm, I would go for primary one. So I just need to press P and press enter and uh, I am going to default with press enter because it will choose one right so partition second num sec second sector I am also going to with the default one and again default value so this is the default partition created with the full size of amount of disk and that was 1 GB else we can also define 500 MB or anything amount so I created for 1 GB and uh, let me show with the partitions table here. So now you can see the SDB is converted into SDB1, right? And this is a 2048, it means uh, 1 GB and endpoint in this one, right? The block size and ID is 83 Linux. This is the Linux file system right now and we will convert in the different uh, XFS format. So now I'm going to save this and going back right now press alice's blk again and let's see what is the difference right now so see this is the converted into uh, 1023 mb of uh, 1 gb and this is the hdb1 now and now uh, we need to format for storing data so just use mkfs dot xfs if you want to format in xfs if you want to format in x ext4 then you can just do ext4 i'm going to do with axfs and dev then select the current partition number right sdb1 now hit enter now it's formatted completely and we can see now just pressing by lsplk is not showing let me show you the full path so see now it is showing with the xfs and with the uuid number as well right so now we created this disk and uh, we need to mount somewhere so we can do some storing data and all that because uh, all of things all of disk are already created and they are they have a mount point right 
so we can do it anywhere it's up to you where you want to do it and uh, how you can do it right so we need to just do one thing is that create any directory suppose i'm creating uh sdb1 right now for mounting uh, we are going to use mount then hd dev hdb1 and then hdb directory where we want to mount once you put this command it will be mount here and uh, df hyphen h then you can see the disk is mount here right see this is here so now we can store any data and we can do anything and if you want to delete this disk then you can do with the different command that is first you mount this point right once you you mount dev hdb uh, we need to just name the directory name see this is the unmounted now df-h we can't see that location right once you uh, you mount first uh, if you are going to do you mount command just to make sure you store your data somewhere you copy your data from that disk so you can't lose that and now once you you mount you again need to do lsblk to verify what is the current disk naming convention is hdb1 and then again go to f disk slash dev slash hdb okay and now just choose p for just checking the partition suppose uh, you so you uh, have a three or a four or a five disk uh, part partitions in the same disk so you will lose your partitions right so you just need to do partitions for p and now just do one thing is that click d for deletion and hit enter partition one is deleted right why because the partition one was the default partition there is no any other partitions for just selecting one or two so so we just got deleted this partition once you delete just press w and save it this will save and now you won't see that disk here see sdb again so this is how we just learned today we create how created and uh, you know formatted and did all things using fdisk command to mount unmount and all that fine so uh yeah if you like the video kindly do subscribe share and thank you so much for joining this